Hello everybody, my name is Bob and we are playing Banished. Uh, we finally got our herbalist in. Uh, it's going to help with, uh, help us with our health because uh, the health is looking kind of sucky right now. Uh, and we are putting in a well. Uh, wells are important in case your town catches fire. Uh, in which case you may want to have some water nearby to put the fire out. Although, from my experience, they don't do much good. It's, um, uh, the one fire I've experienced, um, it was actually put out more by the rain than anything else. And I forget the well put in. Uh, well, let me see how our logs are. Logs are like we need more logs. We need more logs. Too. Okay, our food situation is looking pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. And we're probably going to, after we finish the well, uh, we're probably going to start on this, uh, this house over here. I put it over here so it'll be close to these guys, so if somebody who, lives, who works here wants to live here, they can do that and save themselves some trips. Save themselves some trips. Don't eat those mushrooms out there. You'll save yourself some trips. Okay, this is, a <coughs> sorry. Uh, this is kind of a difficult situation because we just got the school built, and so instead of getting a steady flow of laborers, uh, all the laborers are going to go to the school to get educated. Uh, but that means we don't have any additional laborers coming in for a while. Uh, so we're just going to have to sit, uh, sit pat with that. Um, good news is we've got reasonable food supply, reasonable log supply, uh, firewood's looking okay. So we should be okay with the status quo as long as nobody dies. Um, but we're going to have to wait a little while before we get some new workers in. Okay, we're going to start a cemetery over here. It's going to take a lot of stone. Uh, it's going to take 46 stone. Uh, so that may take a while. No, we have 67 stone on hand, so we're okay. Uh, food supplies holding up. Uh, again, barring some sort of catastrophe, which is always possible. Um, we we're probably going to be doing okay. It's going to be stable. Uh, I definitely need some workers to come online. Okay, one. Two of them came online just then. Cool. Two laborers, one builder. We'll go and put another one on building. I think we're okay on food. We don't need to put anybody else on food production for right now. Need to get our logs on. Need to get our logs on. Okay, for population we have uh, the 40 and 42 year olds uh, with their three kids, uh, two of whom are already working. Uh, 47 and 46 year old uh, with one kid that's working, one that's a child, and one's a student. Uh, 52 and 53 year old with um, a 12 year old student. Uh, 1549 with uh, two grown kids, or grown in this world anyway. Um, a 29 and a 42 year old with a uh, with students and children. Uh, and 41 and 30 year old with uh, two kids, one of them is a student. Every once in a while you'll find a, a really weird couple, like uh, you know, a 50 year old dude with a 10 year old woman, you know, a good girl. Uh, <coughs> also, we need to be thinking about uh, the graying of our population. Uh, our population getting old, uh, probably not a good thing. We need to get some get some labor on. Go ahead and turn this one on too. Oh, we're done already. Good. Uh, graves are important because if people die and there's not a, not a cemetery, they get sad. 
or sit there in the cemetery, there's confidence that they have gone the happily there at ha happily ever after. So, because a square of stone makes such a big difference in how you grieve your loved ones. It's like I feel so much better now that my dead wife is stuck in a cemetery instead of just lying on the ground for for the ki <laughs> for the coyotes to eat. <laughs> it makes me feel so much better about her death. Herbs, we got, we got plenty of herbs, so they should be uh, looking a little better in their health than they are. Okay, what's next? Let's go ahead and turn on this forester. Huberti has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Well, good for you, Huberti. Is that a guy or a, a, a woman? Hubert. Hubert T. Hubert. Uh, we could run into some real problems with the graying of our population. If we don't get the get babies popping out. We need another storage set. That's good news. Go ahead and slow it down a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and get a storage shed going. I see you. Yeah. Go ahead and expedite this. Uh, it's a good idea to have storage barns near uh, your sources of production. So we got one there. We'll probably have one here for a long. Okay, we're working on a new storage sh shed because the old storage shed, storage shed, storage shed, storage shed, shed, shed. Okay, tongue, tongue. This is Bob. Get your shit together. Uh, our old storage shed uh, is full, uh, so we're building a new one. Uh, you see here when they run out of room, they just stack their shit up with it wherever. Um, let's see, I forget whether I told you we're putting in, we're putting in a well. Uh, been a few hours since I played, so I'm catching up myself. Uh, storage shed. Uh, we need logs rather desperately. Uh, and we need to start building houses because we need to plop out the babies. We've got plenty of, plenty of food. Uh, we're stacking up the food pretty well. Uh, but we need to... Start plopping out the babies. S plopping out the infants. Squirting out some infants. Yeah, I know. We're at 98. But see here, we apparently at one point we were, we're um, at 100% because we were start, starting to stack up out here. Also, if they're, if, say, if this shed is full but this shed is empty, uh, people gather from over here. <coughs> we'll often just dump shit over here rather than carry it all the way over here for some reason. Uh, but once we have a storage shed for each, each of these managed floors, probably it's not something that should happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, once we get that finished, we need to, well, we need to cut some logs big time. Uh, but uh, then we also need to uh, get some houses going. And we need to get the trading post going because we want to get some uh, sheep. Uh, sheep gives you the um, the warm coats, some prior uh, leather and wool. Can't make this yet. Yeah, here, check this out. We got the uh, storage shed built. Over here, we got uh, shit piled up over here. Uh, and <coughs> a whole bunch.
bunch of shit piled up over here. Eventually that can all get put away at some point. Once the uh, flow of food from this direction starts uh, being put in here rather than in here. At some point I would like to get a storage shed over here. Um, let's see, what's up next? Wanna do a house? Let's do a house. Okay, I got the forester shed over here up and running. As you can see, I've got it set only to plant. I only have one person there, and all he's doing is planting. Uh, that means he'll be planting all the trees and all the empty spaces around in the forest. Uh, and then we'll send laborers to clear out, clear cut some parts of it when we need it. And it's snowing. Another house just did. With Asaya and Alan. Alan the girl. Okay, whatever. I think all these names are, are uh, non-gender uh, type names. Artis, the guy, and Crystal, the girl. Well, Crystal doesn't get a girl's name, pretty much. Okay, so what we're doing is... Uh, what are we doing? Well, again, I'm working on a forester hut here. Uh, just finish that house there. Uh, although we had sort of a slow start because we, we a couple people died, uh, I think we're doing okay now. Um, we're getting a fair number of people in, in there. We've got no problems with food right now. Uh, so, it's all looking good. Everything's coming up, coming up, uh, Mill House here. I was trying to think of some name that would be more appropriate to this, but I can't think of anything. Okay, we got the Forester Lodge going on over here. Uh, that's going to help us, uh, we're, again, we're going to set that just to plan. Not to cut, because they don't cut for shit, shit anyway. Um, put one forester on that. And that'll help densify this forest. Uh, and so we'll get a, a better uh, quantity of uh, trees out of this and also a better quantity of, um, of uh, gathered foods out of it. Come on, assholes. Cut those trees. It's only your survival, you know. No biggie. No pressure. I'm also putting in another woodcutter uh, because um, uh, I'm about to turn on this uh, this uh, trade depot here. Uh, probably the first um, uh, the first um, trade good we're going to try to sell will be uh, firewood. But uh, we're sucking down trees like no tomorrow, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But in any case, if we're going to use firewood, we're going to have to have another woodcutter. And what I did is I set it up to 300 instead of 200. I figure out, uh, figure that um, when they uh, max out, what I'll do is I'll take 100 over to the trade depot uh, and uh, uh, then let it build back up again. <coughs> but it's gonna take, it's gonna take probably, uh, you know, maybe six or 800 hundred units worth of uh, firewood to, uh, to get a, uh, a pair of sheep um, and even more to get seeds. And seeds are not in, in the books right now. What we're all we're worried about is, is that we're getting trade, trade for getting trade for sheep. Yes, getting trade for sheep. Trading for sheep. In fact, we're having some major wood issues, log issues. We're sucking down the logs like you know tomorrow. Okay. We got 24, 4, and 4. I guess we'll turn on another house. And then we'll turn, and then we'll get started on the train depot. Ate some poisonous berries and died. Amalia the Gatherer ate some poisonous berries and died. Huberti has replaced Amalia as Gatherer. Oh, that sucks. Our first resident in the, uh, in the cemetery here. Now, if you're a gatherer, I assume you would know the difference between poisonous berries and edible berries. Just a thought. 
I guess just, just as well she's not a gatherer anymore. Gather us some toxins. Alright, are we ahead of the log situation? Not that far. We need more logs. More logs. More logs. Logs. More. Also... We gotta go ahead and figure out some of that iron. Just because the trees won't grow there if that, that iron's, iron's there. Ah, and it's winter again. So we got uh, Elbridger and Giz Gizelli. That's occupied to the new house. Logs are survivable, but not great. Those logs. You want to get in a big pile all winter and try to survive on body warmth. I would not advise that. Not to mention the fact that the BO would be enormous. A bunch of medieval gatherers huddling together in a great pile to stay warm. Probably it would be a pretty smelly event. Just a thought. Okay, we started work on the trade depot, uh, trading post. Uh, <coughs> we're also having to clear out a lot of logs because uh, we're continually being short on logs and firewood. Uh, so, uh, no choice but to just clear cut that shit. Destroy all that beautiful forest. But once we get the trading post done, we're not going to be able to trade for anything that we really want right away. We're going to have to build up the, the uh, stockpiles of uh, trade goods over time. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit. We've got here. Also, not all traders will, will accept, not, not all merchants will accept the same things. Uh, so um, uh, you have to. I have to uh, see what the um, what the livestock trader is willing to accept in trade, also. Uh, which means that probably whenever he comes around, if he ever comes around, I'll have a special order sheet, which will cost even more. Uh, and um, I'll also get a chance to see what he'll accept in payment. Okay, our trading post is done. Uh, we're going to assign a trader. Uh, the traders are actually the, the folks who carry goods to the trading post, pretty much. And a lot of times they're available for labor or tech work. Let's use one trader. Uh, I'll put in a hundred firewood. Uh, and just a token amount of some of these. So to take a look and see what the trader will accept.
guess they're good for the time being here. They're a bit short on, on uh, logs and uh, yeah, on logs. A bit short on logs. Okay, I think we're gonna need more babies. Maybe they are not plopping the babies fast enough. Start popping out those kids. Just keep giving the assembly line going. Need to start spurting out those fetuses. Uh, part of our population is starting to get a little bit old. Uh, we got some 60 year olds here. 60 year old there. Uh, so those 60 year olds are going to be pushing daisies here pretty quick, so we're having a big push to um, get some houses built, get the young folks moved out, get some get some baby making going on. Hump you bunnies, hump. Okay, we got our another our third uh, storage shed uh, going over here. Uh, very soon we're going to start on our marketplace. Uh, which has a very positive effect on the uh, health of your population. Uh, because instead of just grabbing whatever happens to be available at the storage shed, um, you know, instead of grab grabbing 200 potatoes, uh, they'll grab a, a mixed and well-balanced diet of foods from the marketplace. Okay, apparently uh, three other people died of old age and I didn't even notice because I didn't have the um, uh, notifications turned on for death by old age. Uh, so we have, since... Uh, What's her name died? Uh, who died of poison, po eating poison berries? Yeah, one, two, three, four folks dying of old age. Uh, so, uh, we definitely got got to get the babies going on, but we are. We got eight children, uh, two people in, in school. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to cover our labor needs. Oh, we need a, we also need a trader. Well, that was quick. Damn. Okay. I mean a vendor. And there's our market, uh, which will help uh, get us maxed out on health. And then at some point we'll either get a church, which unfortunately uses a lot of stone, uh, or a uh, tavern to um, uh, help lift everyone's uh, mood in case their happiness gets low. But right now their happiness is maxed out, so everything is looking good. Food supply is looking good. Uh, logs are okay. We need to cut more. Of course, we always need to cut more. Uh, we probably need more iron and stone too, but I think we're okay for now. Oh shit, we got an outbreak of measles. Fuck. Uh, should I load, it, load a save game or just see how it rolls? Just see how it rolls. Get the herbs rolling in. What? Oh, because they're, they're already all here. Well, now we only got six herbs there. Good luck. Where are the herbs? Where the herb? What the? Where the herb man? Where the herb man? We need the herb man. The herbs are there. Okay. Ah, damn it, measles. It's always something, ain't it? Right. What are you people all doing? I'm open that, that I'm open at home and eat drinking uh, therapy. That's what you're doing. Measles 
is just spreading. There, I'm going to die. We have four people being in this now. <coughs> uh, let me take a look and see if I should. That's a lot of... No. Screw it. Let him die. <laughs> Let him die. Everyone's replaceable. Okay, we just had one death from the uh, from the measles. A large blacksmith. That's it's all over the fucking place. People suck it up. Oh god, now two more have got in. It's okay, it'll build up your immune system. Yeah. Nothing we need. Oh, we got seeds would be nice, but we can't afford them. Uh, let's see. Well, let's special order some wheat seeds in case we want to make some hail. Okay, this is uncool. We may have to load a save. down to two, or at least two visible uh, people with the measles, so. Okay, well, it's possible that the, uh, the crisis has passed, perhaps. Uh, Net the child has died of measles. Oh, she was just born just a few months ago. Aw, too bad. Life sucks. Life sucks hard. Okay, well, it looks like the, the, the measles uh, has passed. That's a good thing. Okay, we got a trader. Let's see what, he, what, he, what he's got. Sheep? Cattle. We don't really need cattle. I will do a special order for sheep, though. That's going to make it more expensive, but otherwise you have to wait till random chance to bring you sheep, so that's not good. Okay. 